three, two, one. You ready? You're listening to the Real Pineapple Podcast Network. All right, cool. I'm gonna say three, two, one, record, and we'll jump in. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, all right, three, two, one, record. And <clears throat> good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. Oh God, we're at Breaking Dawn Part One. <laughs> Only one uh, more to go. <laughs> it's it it's like a it's like a boxing match when you get to the 11th between the final round it's like uh, I, I don't know if i can do this coach <laughs> right, right exactly this is right this is like right when you're playing a game you're about to get carpal tunnel when you're trying to <laughs> but this is uh this is hunter here uh thank you so much for listening got a review for breaking dawn part one god help us all and i'm here with friend of the podcast from the afternoon tune which you can check out wherever you listen to podcasts as well as on twitch and youtube i've got nick here nick how you doing sir i'm doing great uh yeah we we're recording uh clips and uh breaking dawn back to back and i finally got my coffee and the there's whiskey in here oh there you go that that's a good call <laughs> I gotta, you know, it's funny. I'm not a big whiskey drinker, um, mm. unless I have, unless I have a little steak. I will have whiskey mm. and steak. That that that's steak and steak. whiskey. That's like, oof, it, yes. it's wonderful. Steak and whiskey is a shit. But we are talking about the worst Twilight film, not without new or moon in the title for me, because <laughs> because this is basically vampire couples retreat. And, <laughs> and it's but like without. It's the occasional, very occasional laughs of Couples Retreat. Um, this is just a bad movie. Like, just nothing yeah. happens. It, it it's just a bland, boring, milk toast ass vacation video that is only watchable if you're drinking and talking shit about it the entire film. Yeah, which I, I did. I, yeah, I I actually watched this. I watched this like a dad sneaking porn. I actually watched this like at 6 a.m. this morning because <laughs> my partner was able to sleep. I was fucking awake. And my partner, God bless her, because she, you know, she watches a lot of the movies with me. She was like, mm. hey, babe, like, is there a way you could try to watch the Twilight movies without me being awake? I'm like, All right, <laughs> fair enough. So I was at my computer, headphones on cat looking at me like why are you watching this dad not on the big screen it's like yeah it's like, it, it's like your cat's looking at you jesus what do you have to be ashamed about right i know he's like i know you clean my litter boxes i know you used to shit work but, <laughs> <laughs> but oh, jesus what why do you have this look of shame on your face right i definitely feel more shame watching breaking down part one than clean my cats <laughs> my cat's litter box <laughs> But so this is directed by Bill Condon, which I wish I completely forgot Bill Condon did, did directed one of these. Like, oh, that's he right. didn't direct one. He directed two of them. Oh, that's right. Because he, he directed the last those, two. That's I for, I fucking forgot about yeah, that. Yes, yeah, the director of such uh, wonderful stuff like uh, Dream Girl stuff, like uh, um, uh, Chicago. And uh, less good stuff like uh, the live action Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, see what's funny is I actually like I, I like the live action Beauty and the Beast. I fully acknowledge it's the whole Disney being whores. Like, hey, how can we how can we make more money by putting in minimum effort? <laughs> Unlike the the opposite of Deadpool. Um, but I I like the Beauty and the Beast remake. Uh, I love Kinsey. I think Kinsey's a great fucking movie, and I wish more people would have will have seen it but uh if you haven't seen kenzie i would recommend you do but, mm, right. but but this movie though it, it's it's the wedding that we've been quote waiting for on uh bella bella finally 
gets married to to Edward and it, because of course you know this character's entire sense of identity revolves around this very toxic relationship with this 100-year-old man. Yeah, exactly. I do love the fact that they show Bella's mom getting the wedding invite and she's all like, "Oh, snap." And they see and they sh- show Charlie Don't- getting it. And he's mm-hmm. just drinking. He's just like, yeah, and Charlie drinking. getting it, and he's just like doing what I'm doing. Yeah, he's <laughs> just like cracking one open. And that, that's what I always joked if like any vampire actually did bite Charlie, they just like, how much <laughs> beer do you drink, man? Right, exactly. Like you get the vampire drunk off the bite. <laughs> but, At the dread blood. So, but here's what's done Jacob, shark boy. He loses. He, <laughs> he, 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 he no, shit. no. It, it's hilarious. It, it's like he he sees the wedding invite. He just throws it down on the ground, rips off his shirt, and just sprints off into the woods to, I guess, footloose dance or like form a circle jerk around with his other wolf buddies. If it cut to Rod doing his <laughs> his angry dancing and hot rod in the woods, it would have made more sense than what Jacob does here because Jacob. <laughs> takes off exposes himself phrasing to this couple driving so this couple knows werewolves exist because he hits the middle of a street they swerve to not hit him and then he runs off and there's no way if you're not that couple you don't go that was a giant fucking wolf even for <laughs> for like <laughs> wolf standards and it's it's weird and <sighs> The man's rage and horniness has just doubled his size as a wolf. Yeah, it, it's it's really absurd. So just to jump in here. So my future ex-wife, uh, Alice, of course, played by Ashley Green. So I don't, maybe the books do. I don't remember them. The, the movies don't, because why the fuck would they? The Cullens, <laughs> the Cullens have been around so long, they're just rich, I, I guess. Alice, the way she puts this wedding together, why she's not a wedding coordinator is fucking ridiculous because this wedding, like, this wedding... It's absurdly gorgeous. Yeah, like, it's it's not as good as the wedding in Crazy Rich Asians. Like, it's not that nothing can Nothing can touch that wedding. That is my favorite wedding. I, I, actually, gave, I actually gave a shit about the characters in that wedding, so... I mean, I mean so. that too, but the decorations in that just, are just, oh my god, fucking pristine. But... This is pretty. This is it. This is a very good honorable mention. Like it's well fucking done. And Alice, first off, considering how bad she wants to fuck Bella, the fact she's so <laughs> into this wedding is is kind of adorable. I mean, that's some of the best acting right there. But but Edward gets taken. Oh, pretending. Oh, you mean Alice pretending she doesn't want to just throw Chris and Stewart on the bed and just munch down on that. Right, exactly. Like, <laughs> like, like, she should have been a woman Turner, but just like, <laughs> but, <laughs> but there's there's a scene early on where Bella and Edward are hanging out in her room, and you know she's he's like, all right, you know, Mrs. Cullen, I'll see you at the altar, which I actually thought was a cute line. I was like, hmm. okay, I'll give you that. But then it goes to Edward and Jasper taking him away for his bachelor party. In straight- which, which, what the fuck would a vampire bachelor party be? Exactly! Why not show me that? That is actually an interesting, like, when they say that, I went, yeah, actually, uh, You mean actually have a moment between, like, a lot of the male castmates that wasn't just a dick measuring contest of who wants to fuck this boring teenager more? I mean, yeah, it'd be a nice change of pace, you know, considering we're, we're getting closer to wrapping these up. But yeah, there's no... Oh, and before that even happens, I forgot to mention that Edward calling back kind of, sort of, but not really to the first film where he talks about, you know, my scent, my look, everything is draw is tailor-made to draw you <laughs> in. And then he goes, oh, by the way, I used to kill people. Did I forget to mention that? Oh, yeah, I used to kill people. <laughs> and Yeah, I used to be a vigilante. I, I Yeah, I used to be a vengeful vigilante with no parents, and I'm super rich now. 
Yeah, wait, exactly. What, wait, why does that sound familiar? <laughs> yeah, exactly. My 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 name dun, was <laughs> dun, 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 <laughs> dun. My name was Edward <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> the entire time I was just hearing Jakino's Batman score, just dun, 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 dun. when you hear him say it. It's hilarious that he's playing Batman now. It's like, wow, they're <laughs> setting this shit up back then. They didn't even know. And like, and like, um and just him and that flashback. I can see a little. I could see a lot of Bruce Wayne there. Oh, absolutely. I mean, not, I mean the, the 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 hat room, the hat notwithstanding. But yeah, like it it it, it came across very again a, again a scene that is setting up a movie. I'd much rather be watching. Yeah, because. We're both hyped for Pattinson's Batman, but this is like this is no way. Like, this this oh, is yeah. like that. This is like a uh, summit edging us until we get the fucking until March fourth, twenty twenty two. Right. <laughs> I, so we have to bring up. So you know, but Bella is just so nonplussed. She's like, "Oh, you." He's nonplussed. Can- oh, oh, they were bad people, right? I mean, fuck. I don't know. I don't got a criminology degree. I mean, let's be clear. I mean, Frank Castle says the same thing. He's always like, <laughs> like they're all bad. Were they? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, a guy named the Punisher of Life. <laughs> it's like, yeah, of course you can say they're all bad people. Like, give me yeah, that. What a, guy, what, a guy, what a guy that dresses up like a bat. I mean, uh, uh, um, uh, uh. <laughs> exactly. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. But <laughs> I, I, but I, I just I always just kind of roll my eyes at that shit. It's like, come on, girl, you have to know that he was killing people that were not supposed I, to be killed. But I mean, come uh, come on, I I know we've had like four other movies where you've just constantly demonstrated your ineptness or just complete unwillingness to look at red flags. But <laughs> right, come on, That's- he he's like giving you an out right now. Yeah, he really is. And she's just like, yep, nope, totally fine. Um, Like, dumb, dumb, dumb. But going back to Charlie real quick. So everyone shows up for the wedding. And (laughs) And Charlie is, and they, like, they don't even hide the fucking display of, like, the hundreds of graduation caps. Which, one, if you're, like, immortal and trying to blend in, and you're not having people at your house, okay, I get it then. Yeah. But this is like the second time you've had some normies inside your house. Why don't you hide that shit? Yeah, it's 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 very much like Nicolas Cage in Bangkok Dangerous when he lays out all his rules and just breaks them all within like 20 minutes. It's like, you're trying to blend in. And it, there's even that point in New Moon when they go, oh, Carlisle's supposed to be older than he looks, so we have to move. But they're just high, just putting the graduation caps out there on Front Street, and Billy is the only one that goes, "That's weird. Why are there so many graduation caps?" And Bella's <laughs> mom's just like, "Oh, that's so cute." And Billy's like, "All right, apparently no one is noticing this outside of me, or, or just everybody is just completely just is so self absorbed that they don't look at the world around them." Yeah, which is like you don't have to be. Encyclopedia Brown just look up every now. And I, then. I mean, I mean, it's already established that Charlie is a terrible cop, a terrible criminal investigator. <laughs> so I guess they thought they could get away with it. I mean, I mean yeah. come on, how many hikers? How many hikers have gone missing in Forks since Bella arrived? <laughs> I mean, that's that's a really fair point. He's probably just they're probably just like showing off now. <laughs> Like, like the Trinity killer, like I'll, it's use, like, the, I'll use the hammer. <laughs> it's like shit. I mean, I mean, Charlie kind of sucks as a cop. Do you really think that we get? Nah, nah, nah. We can't just like keep that shit up. Yeah, like I will say, man, the the bridesmaids for Bella, Lord have mercy. Like, because this is where we're introduced to like Maggie Grace and all these characters mm. who haven't factored in at any point. But who, you, yeah, who are just getting introduced to now. Yeah, but you get to see, you know, these pale, tall, white women with red eyes, a.k.a., you know, Hunter's Kryptonite. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, hello, wedding party. But it's, but I appreciate that Anna Kendrick's uh, Jessica, isn't it? I think it's her name. It's yes. Jessica, is the only one who goes, oh, how pregnant is Bella? And so, think- so how much do you think she's going to show? I mean, there's only yeah. one reason somebody gets married at 18, which, um... <laughs> Yeah, I've been in the military, and I'll tell you, there are two. (laughs) 
Okay, fair, 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 fair enough. Like, but I appreciate that she's one of the few people who actually have the guts to actually say that shit. Because I went, and, and to your point, I, I remember kind of going like, okay, I, I, I've known enough people in the military where it's like, okay, maybe they get married right before you know someone ships off. But yeah, it's really like two reasons. I went well. <laughs> Edward's not going to the military anytime soon. <laughs> so playing the odds. And, and and ironically enough, Jessica was kind of right. <laughs> anyway. and, and it's like, oh god, they, they fucking foreshadowed the goddamn demon baby. Uh, yeah, they 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 fuck they, this movie. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and so I will say, um, I did appreciate the uh their song from prom coming back to be their wedding song mm-hmm. that's like a rare bit of continuity that i went oh someone actually maybe sort of kind of sort of maybe paid attention <laughs> yeah exactly it, but- it, 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 yeah that that was actually kind of a sweet moment it reminded me a lot of uh of a uh, if you follow the uh, cw dc universe when uh, mm. barry and iris finally had their wedding they had the uh, uh, Melissa Benoist sing the song that uh, Barry used to propose to her. It reminded me a lot of that. That's a good. That's a good callback. And, and, and mm-hmm. I mean, now granted, you know, I'd way rather be watching The Flash, but but <laughs> but I really did appreciate the fact that that happens. But this the the first I'd say twenty five minutes of this movie. It's just, awkward. Should just be it, called it is sh- awkward. It is awkward fucking comedy. It is just yeah. get all of these actors, some of whom have had who this is probably the most screen time they've gotten in this entire uh, in this entire franchise, yeah. and just have them ad lib and just not know when to cut. Yeah, because Charles like it might, it might and, be and Emmett's the worst one because she's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah Bella, uh, hope hope you got enough sleep the last eighteen years because you ain't getting any now. Yeah, and this this and first front bit, of her dad. <laughs> this first bit of the movie should just be called Charlie being tortured because Charlie just <laughs> looks Charlie looks so sad. Like I mean, Charlie's been tortured for the last like three movies. True, but he's got for Char for Charlie for Charlie Swan. His existence with Bella is just pain. But he gets a great <laughs> singer. Where they go, oh, he gave you this thing uh, that your grandma had because you need something, you know, uh, old in your life outside your mother. And I was like, damn, that shade. Oh. <laughs> like, bah, bah. Like, 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 Charlie. And, just... and yeah, Billy Burke is too good for this franchise. It, even like really? little moments, even little moments before the actual wedding. And he's like going in to see Bella is like, I know, I look hot. So as awkward as awkward as uh what's his name as uh Emmett's speech is, it is nothing compared to Jessica's speech because <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. the entire time it, it, it was like it was like, oh yeah, Bella, uh congratulations to them, even though uh Bella's not the smartest girl in school or the valedictorian or uh any of that. And then she just slowly gets quieter until she's like speaking at Michael Sarah volume. <laughs> well, she's working from enough. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it is creepy how she's like, oh, Bella is like everyone else, totally mesmerized by she, she. She's like, she's, it's like she's proposing a three way with the two of them at yeah, their fucking which, wedding. Which I mean, which, uh, which, um, which, speaking of three ways, uh, <laughs> So like uh like I think at some point during the reception, Edward um takes Bella into the backyard behind the woods and uh she he goes like, Yeah, uh yeah, this is uh your wedding present, and it's just Jacob in the fucking woods. Yeah. Which, which it's like weird. he's about to propose a threesome with the three of them. He's like, Hey, I know you're about to turn into a to a vampire, and we're technically married now, so as long as everyone's consenting, it's all Gucci. Yeah, it's a weird, like it's weird, and, and also because maybe Jasper was in charge of the guest planning. He was like, "Nah, Jay, nah, that that boy too dark to come into this right. wedding." <laughs> right, like it's really funny to hear like other Cullens show up, and they're from like Alaska and shit. It's like really, like like. El- 
really? Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, like Maggie Grace shows up, but she apparently can't handle being around humans so she has like a breakdown and then that's just- oh, no 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 i think they imply that uh that laurent the the eddie gothegi you know the guy who is destined to just die in in uh, blockbusters unnecessarily exactly yeah um because he was the vampire that got killed by the wolves in uh in new moon and that was her mate Oh, so she's like pissed right. that she has to be around the that the werewolves are like at the wedding too should we just start calling him like uh, Sean Coffee Bean? Should we just start calling him that? <laughs> <laughs> since, that, since that's his role, apparently. It was like, adapt to this. Right. I, trust me. It's my biggest complaint about first class. It bugs the fuck out of me still to this day. But <laughs> it's, like, it's like, wait, my superpower is not die, but you're. I guess Jasper was just in the writer's room that day. <laughs> right, ex- exactly. It's. I did love Billy's speech, though, where he's just like, you know, Edward will be a great husband. I know He'll be a great because, husband. I'll I make sure of because, that. Yeah, I know it's because I'm a cop. You can find ah, out things. You gotta <laughs> judge a character. You yeah. gotta find out things. And the entire speech, I was just like, I mean, are you, though? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's kind of it's it's a bit in the sake of irony <laughs> in that sense because yeah, is he a good cop? Like, like no, like no, no, you're not. But but you keep trying, Billy. But uh, or, but, or Charlie, right? But Bella and Edward head off to the, uh, to their honeymoon. I did laugh really hard, I will say, unintentionally when they're driving away in their limo or whatever. And you, and you hear Jacob howl as they leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I know it's supposed to be. I forgot that. <laughs> it's supposed to be treated as this emotional moment. And I was laughing my ass off this morning. I was like, oh, that's right. Like, like, I forgot that. <laughs> It's like, ow! Yeah, yeah, it's like, god damn, like, this is just dumb. And and I would like to point out, they dated for five months before he left for New Moon, uh, during New Moon. Five months, and that warrants this wedding and all of this. I just went, y'all, like... Come on, like really? Yeah, but the but I think the entire point. This is basically just a repressed teen girl fantasy, and and repressed teen girl fantasy are topped with like misinterpreting the end of the graduate. I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's like weird science that cuts off an hour early. <laughs> it's like a Ruby Sparks, except you. Don't go past the second act. Yeah, exactly. It's it's the first five minutes of promising a woman. Like, what's everyone upset about? <laughs> Whoa! Well, yeah, it's it, like it, it's like last night in Soho, except you cut out at the second act. I yeah, actually, that's a yeah, that's actually another very good. Comparison. Except you don't show anything past the first forty minutes. Which, by the way, watch last night in Soho if you've not seen it. And fucking tastic, ten out of ten movie. I absolutely love it. same, but. So they go off to uh, uh, Brazil, right? Is that where they're at? Some and... va- vaguely South American country. I think they were speaking Spanish, so that could be anywhere from like uh, Mexico to Argentina or True. Belize. So, so here's what's up. Obs- this is where it goes back to the whole Cones are rich thing, because they go they to get Isle, a, they go they to get Isle a, Esme. Like it's named it's a, Esme. It's a dope ass villa too. Yeah, and so. Again, Cohen's money. How? <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, they they lived through at least one economic depression. I don't know how. Well, two if you count uh, Black Monday. So yeah. how the hell do they still have this much money? Yeah, I would like. Do these have a bunch of like comic book cards somewhere? And they're like, oh, like let's just. Oh, we got this. We got this pristine Superman comic. Let's just. They, they just. They just. They just kept a bunch of original Jordans from when they were first dropping. They, they invest in Krispy Kreme back like. <laughs> like <laughs> they bought Apple stock of like. Yeah. It, <laughs> exactly. Like it's it's weird, but. So okay, so they get. To I mean, the, did Carlisle just spend a couple of years Wolf of Wall Streeting it up, or <laughs> which again would be a movie I'd rather watch than this. But 
but we get but we go ahead and get that whole that whole sequence of them getting to the island and i will say the way it's filmed i actually really like switching locales up but actually now i will say it 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 makes this world feel much bigger than i think it deserves to be and and switching locales it is interesting to see however i think they forget that edward is supposed to sparkle in sunlight yeah they they okay so a they definitely do and b whenever they're in water at night it doesn't look like they're there. It really looks like it. It, it looks like some green screen, and also, yes, it does. and also, um, sure, we've both been in water during times like that. It's not sexy. Nah, nah. It's just like uh, it is. Okay. It is what it is. What a repressed uh, person would think is sexy. Yeah, it, it's, it's it's just a- it's just salt water getting up everywhere. That's just like asking for a yeast infection. Yeah, that's one reason why I'm not a big fan of sand. It's just like, oh, sand. <laughs> like, like, oh, okay, sand. Anakin. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's corbin, bro. And irritating, and it gets everywhere. It's just, it's which, just, which my head canon Jasper to fuck with the nerds. He wrote that line into the Star Wars prequels. Yeah, I, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> but so, okay, honeymoon. You know, Bella's been waiting. You know, I'm a virgin. She even tells Bill, you know, yeah, yeah. Paper towel, man. Be- but- Bella's been waiting. She like a very awkward scene tells uh tells uh Charlie that. Yeah. And it- Edward's apparently been waiting for like a hundred years, which I why bull- which I call bullshit. That man like, like there's no <laughs> come on way. that. He didn't get none while he was like violent Batmaning it up. Yeah, I, I'm sure he saved some woman from being like assaulted, and they're probably like, like, thank you, like a week later or some shit. Like, yeah, trust me. He's he's he he's for sure. Around. He for sure has like left behind the like spread eagled corpses of a couple ladies <laughs> around. <laughs> That's when he turned them. When they were <laughs> okay, that would okay. If there was a vampire who only turned people when they were spread eagle, that would actually be a franchise I'd be interested in watching. But Edward goes ahead and, and you know Bell's like, all right, well, you know, I use a few human minutes, and I just have to add, like, look, you're paying on body hair, you do you, but if you know you need to shave. Why are you doing that? Why are you, why did you wait until like an hour before? Thank you. It just it, that's that. But let let's be real. I'm I'm a, I'm I used to be a single man in my in my twenties, mm-hmm. and sometimes you gotta like do a little self care. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So you do that shit the night before. Absolutely. Or like. Yeah, I just it, that was just something I went. Come on, girl. Like, you, gotta, it, you gotta groom yourself beforehand. That's just like piss poor planning. And I will say too, her letting her letting Alice pack her bags is like I wouldn't let anyone pack for me. Honestly, even my, hell I, no. I, I love my partner. I would not let my partner pack for me because sometimes I like, same because it's like okay, like I want maybe I want to wear this this night. Maybe I want to have multiple. Uh, multiple outfit uh, options because I'm that person when I pack. Like, (laughs) same, same. Uh, Yeah, I'm that type of dude. Like any trip I take, I pack at least like three pairs of shoes. Boom, same. One for the train, one for the gym, and then one for shits and giggles. Yeah, because like I'll do, I'll do a couple pairs if like I'm if I'm gonna be out somewhere or oh if I might go to a club, I might pick a couple different pairs there. So I'll take three, four pairs of shoes with me when I usually go (laughs) on. When I go yeah, on vacation, so. yeah, it, it's like potentially a trust issue that I still have. I will not let my partner pack for me. Yeah, to- totally. Fair. And I yeah. and I'm and I'm that dude. It's like if we're going somewhere, I'm packed up, ready to go. Suitcase is set aside the night before. Yeah, I- the only thing is like my my phone, my AirPods, and my uh, laptop, which is still sitting on the charger. Same. Like I, I like to get all that stuff packed uh, as early as possible. Like anyway, week, yeah. But Bella, I digress. Bella, I, I digress. <laughs> there's a saying in the military: "Piss poor planning leads to poor performance." 
Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> and you yeah. plan this shit out, Bella. Yeah, this is it, it's it's weird. It, it's a weird just sequence because then they do have sex and it just looks like the most uncomfortable. Like I could <laughs> rub I could rub two batteries together and it's essentially the same thing as the sex that that's happening in this movie. It, it, it's 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 like less sexy than the fucking cut scene from Toy Story 3 of the like lost years in between where Andy gets curious so he starts rubbing Jesse and Buzz Lightyear together. <laughs> it's basically the uh it's basically that hot coffee mini game from San Andreas. Like it's just, <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's, just it's such a weird like it's oh, like the it's like the sex mini games in the God of War game. Yeah, or like Leisure Suit Larry or anything. Or something. Like it just it's a very weird sex scene. It doesn't feel sexy. When which, it, which which to be fair, like whose first time it is actually like that? Oh, absolutely. Like, but. I, you know, he's been around for a hundred years. I would expect him to know, you know, something, but... I mean, he's a... He's a... It's like, for the movie's argument's sake, he's a virgin, so of course he doesn't know what he's doing either. Yeah, which I, again, I call bullshit on that, <laughs> but... But, of course, what happens is Edward ends up going ahead and knocking Bella up, which is, again, part of this movie's propaganda of all it takes is one time, if you have sex... With someone who's not your partner, you will die and burn in the depths of hell. Like it's, 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 Don't it's, have sex. You will get pregnant and you will die. Exactly. Here's some condoms. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> you know, pr- pray, pray the gay away. Use that, you, use that last over, use that leftover stick of butter to calm your urges. <laughs> like, don't, like, don't, don't, don't have sex. <laughs> like, that's, like, girls, use your, Girls buy an electric buy an electric toothbrush. You can get one from your church. <laughs> like, like the movies, it's like the girls. Movies. Let's be re- let's be real. The boys at church they do not know what they're doing either. And, and let's so. be clear: if you if you're if you are if you are an eighteen year old girl, I would recommend using an electric toothbrush over most eighteen year old guys. Anyway, the toothbrush <laughs> might actually. The toothbrush will actually be willing to meet your needs. Like yes, yes. Take, take take it from two former 18-year-olds. Yeah. We but, don't know what we're doing either. Yeah. If I didn't have a shoehorn the first time I had sex with someone, I don't think I would have been. <laughs> but, that's, but that's a whole other conversation for another podcast. But Edward knocks <laughs> Bella up. And then the rest of the movie is the whole... Will she keep the kid or won't she keep the kid? And I mean, Ed, Edward is like, it's not even 0. 0.3 seconds of like realizing that Bella might be pregnant. It's like, Carla, we got to go. We got we got to 86 this baby ASAP. And he's like, don't worry, Carla will get that out of you. So here's the thing that's... It's funny. like three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> and he is quick. It's such a hard leap to make because... Let, let, let's be clear if we look at something like you know like the percy jackson movies like gods having sex with regular humans is not a far-fetched concept so when the movie goes, it, it, it is it is not there is an entire genre of fiction devoted to that exactly so when you hear the movie go this has never happened before even opening night in the theater i'm like Really? Is, I'm like, this is never. So, 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 like, no vampire in the history of anything has ever decided to raw dog a human. Because let's be real, Dra- Dracula would do that shit. Dracula would go to a club. There'd be I some mean, girl. Like, I mean, we know. we see Lee Pace in like this and the next movie. You sh- you are telling me that guy doesn't fuck? Yeah, hard. Uh, but, but, but. <laughs> because let's be real have you seen the cullens i mean you you be with somebody for like 50 years you get a little experimental you try introducing a third person which as long as everyone's consenting cool yeah yeah if, as long as everyone's consenting who cares but it is a giant... alice for alice and jasper have for sure tried introducing a third person oh you know alice will cuck him with like uh the, the black vampires like vengeful son at some point or whatever it'll be like like, i'm doing this for you follow like it'll be but 
it is such a leap to make that this has never happened anywhere else. So when they're trying to look up information, they're like, no, 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 it hasn't happened anywhere else. It's like, no. It's like a Yahoo search. Yahoo like, search vampire demon baby. Because Carlisle basically <laughs> says Bella's fucked without saying she's fucked. Like, Carlisle is like, yeah, fam, like, I don't know what to tell you. And, and the staunchest defender for, like, because, of course, Bella's an idiot, so she's she like, it, it's like, so she goes to the one person who has just vicariously wanted a baby for, like, a hundred years, and Rosalie, who is like, I call, yes, we gotta get that fetus out of you. It is killing Bella, and to this movie's credit, the effect that it does that it does have yes. when Bella is like emaciated with this baby looks great. Is fantastic. It is like I, I know it's a it, 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 this this goes from like like more boring couples tr- retreat to full on David Cronenberg in like a, in like two seconds flat. Yeah, and, and like the effect of is it's a mixture of a uh, CGI and uh, and makeup. It's well fucking done because she just looks sickly, um, mm-hmm. like at multiple points. And to your point, yeah, she looks like Christian Bale in the Machine is sick, sickly. <laughs> she really does, actually. Uh, she looks like uh, she looks like Angelina Jolie and she was like Billy Bob. Like it's it's fucking Oof. <laughs> it's fucking it's, like, it's fucking <laughs> weird, but. When you see her, Rosalie being so like, yep, you have to have the kid, like, no matter what. I'm hey, sitting- all life is sacred. Stop calling it a fetus. It's a baby. And that's I don't- where... Exactly. This baby will come to term over Bella's dead body. Yeah, this is when, in hearing that- in Which, imagine- yeah, which going again back to your point, when you're the first thing in writing class, you should not hear the author's, the author's voice in the character. And you're and Rosalie makes this flip, and Stephanie just, Meyer and Stephanie Meyer is pulling the fucking Will Smith meme is like pro life. Yeah, it's 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 ham handed like a motherfucker. It's like it's it's, it's ham handed, but to be fair, what in this franchise isn't? Yeah, you're, you're you're not wrong. It's I mean, this franchise has always like one hundred percent been straight up about that this is just the the fantasies of a horrifically repressed christian woman trying to live out her sexual fantasies yeah it's one of those things though that while jacob because jacob's even talking to her like look this kid's gonna kill this thing is killing you like you need to really consider your options and Here's where for me as a guy, and look, I understand we're two men talking about talking about pregnancy. Like I, I yes, I, like yes, we, we, get that. we could yes, we could read all the fucking books in the world and still not know what the hell we're talking about. Yeah, absolutely. But at the same time, the fact that Bella really makes that decision and doesn't talk to Edward about it, it's like, okay, that's like again. Her having the final say, that's one thing, but not even talking to her partner about it. I'm like, girl, this is like 101 of you getting married. Like, this is kind of... Yeah, this is, this is this is 101 <laughs> of the shit not to do. Yeah. And so when... Which, which, let's be honest, these entire movies have been the not to guide of a fucking relationship. I mean, true. But it is one of those things I just went yeah okay this is fucking absurd and the moment she said it's a boy i can feel him i went okay so it's clearly a girl and that's where i'm (laughs) watching this opening night going oh it's a girl oh no in my brain having that flip of going why did they why did they bring up imprinting in the last movie that's so Oh god damn it! You oh. imprint on this kid is it's me. it's like the worst consolation prize that you can. It's tr- it's it's like not treated as anything other than a consolation prize. It's like hey uh hey uh uh Jacob, you don't get to fuck Bella, but you can fuck uh her daughter when she's old enough. It's yeah. Like, oh fuck. Ah, gross. Ah. Yeah. Oh hey baby. I'm gonna give you a nickname. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you Bella. Is that okay? Why are you gonna call me that? Don't worry about it. 
Hey, don't don't mind if I uh, say Bella if I accidentally howl Bella when I climax. Right. Yeah. Put put, put on these uh, red contacts for me. All right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> And they tr- and and uh, and and uh, we'll get to it when we eventually discuss the next part. But every single like bit of dialogue about that, it's trying to to like not frame it as pedophilia or as like something yeah. sinister. It's like it, it's it's not like that. It's not a romantic connection. It's just a very fiercely protective one that I can't let any other guy talk to her ever. It's like yeah, that's possessive. That's fucked up too. So somewhere drinking it's like it does it doesn't turn romantic until she's 18. That's grooming guy. Someone, somewhere Drake is watching this and going, thank you. Someone gets me. Like, it's, a, it's, it's a, it is so textbook grooming. And it, I know we're jumping ahead to your point, but when Jacob is trying to go like, it's not like that. It's not like I meant to do it. It's like, Isn't it? like you're not helping yourself at all with any of the things you're saying. Right? The entire time I was like, isn't it motherfucker? Like it's exactly what it looks like. I like was rooting for Bella to kill him at that point. It was like, yeah, fuck this dude. Yeah, say saying it's not like what it looks like is like Jason Biggs fucking the pie and going, like, I'm not fucking this pie. It's like it's yeah. exactly what it looks like, and you just don't have any sort of actual retort because you're a terrible person. And I will say the whole werewolf meeting about this, where there's just it's like they smell evil. It, it's like that fucking. It's that fucking like a uh, a uh, uh, mermaid man scream. <laughs> the fact they're just communicating through their thoughts. And I mean, it's. I mean, the other option was like have the have the fucking like CG wolves mouths move. I'd rather them do the telepathy. I mean, yeah, or but they the, all sound exactly the same. Exactly, is so, the issue. So that was my point. Not, have them have one of those fucking tribal meetings or whatever council meetings in human form, so I can actually connect who feels which way, like in the film, because it's weird just seeing a bunch of werewolves that look basically the fucking same, and I'm like. Wait, who feels which way about what? It, it's it's really jarring. And when when we get to Rosalie holding the baby and Jacob is sneaking up on it like a horror film, it's basically, <laughs> it's basically that scene from Noah be, where no one can kill the kid. Like it's then it like, become that then it becomes a horror movie in a different sense. Yeah, and this baby, I it just, is horrifying. It is. It's like the baby in uh, the campaign, Will Ferrell punches. <laughs> like it looks just like that. It's, it's, it's like it's like it's worse than the baby in American Sniper. Oh, that's and, or, and, and it's and it's another yeah. case of it's another case of damned if you do, damned if you don't, because there's like this horrifying footage of this like a uh, practical baby doll that they originally wanted to use. And it is terrifying. Yeah. It's, it is like cat CGI levels of horror. Is. So I've seen that footage and you're a thousand percent correct. <laughs> and, and, and I will say myself, if I understand that you, you had the CGI baby year, but the campaign at least, it leads to a gag. It, it, leads, to a, it leads to one of the funniest gags in the movie. <laughs> But this baby <laughs> ain't, ain't anybody gonna ask how my hand feels after punch that iron like jaw of that baby, <laughs> right? But but this movie, it's like the baby has hydro programming and Zemo's reading off rusted, like longing, like like the baby has this look on his face, like Whoa. <laughs> like it looks confused, and then that's when Jacob imprints on it and. 
basically the last. He, he like it's he plays that whole like fucking. I can't see me loving nobody but you. It's Homer and Spider Pig, basically. Like, <laughs> like Jacob sees his future with this infant growing up. Thankfully, at least, at least the kid's growing up. We she, she has to stop that like age four. Not great, still. Yeah. Oh yeah. Not no, no, great. No, still terrible. Do not misunderstand. But then you know she gets to eighteen. You know, thank God, in Jacob's case, <laughs> she gets to eighteen, and then the song changes to uh, Pony. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's, like, it's exactly. Someone call FIFA. There's grass on the field, but it's one of those those things that as you're watching this opening night, so keep in mind, I watched this shit opening night, and I'm sitting there. I had to put my jacket over my face because I was laughing so hard. I just just went, y'all fuckers aren't even trying at this point. And it (laughs) And uh, yeah, I I watched I watched this like two days ago, and at like three in the morning, and I'm pretty sure like my upstairs neighbors heard me because I like bumped into them on the elevator, like going to take my dog for a walk, and they're just I just say like, "Hello, how are you doing?" And they're just giving me the fucking death stares, like, "Oh fuck!" They probably heard me cackling at the <laughs> fucking reveal. <laughs> And he just he just falls to his knees yeah, like he just it's, it's straight up cri- like Bible movie like he just falls to his knees like he cannot wrap his head around the fact that oh my god this baby if there was more if there was myrrh and frankincense it would have made way more sense for him to fall to his knees the way he did it is it's insane and through this Bella. And I will say, I will give the movie credit for this. Bella breaks her back, and the way they shot that shit. That, yeah, that baby straight up bane fucking Bella. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, I had wondered what would break first, <laughs> your spirit or your body. Yeah. I am your reckoning. <laughs> like, it's just like, it breaks both. This birth will be your reckoning. <laughs> and, and so... Oh, very nice spine you got there. Be a shame if somebody exploded it. So I will say, and this leads to one of my biggest issues in the movie, is that the films have been so inconsistent on how quickly it actually takes for you to turn. Because when, um, you know, when James bites her in the first movie, it starts instantly. But my friend was saying, well, actually, technically the turn... does take overnight i'm like that's never been established because again and, and, yeah and they show in uh in eclipse when uh riley gets attacked it starts happening immediately after she yep. gets bitten yeah so the movies are just like all over the place on it and you know you see bella's you know bodies like seam itself together you know like uh you know, fucking like a uh, Power Ranger style, like the command center is being fixed. It's like, all right, fine, but it's it's just weird. It's a weird movie, and the whole I know we mentioned in our clips review, but the whole fact that uh, Sam, Sam, and the rest of the clan are like, "Yep, we're killing this baby. Fuck it, who cares?" And they're like, "Well, Jacob imprinted on this infant." That means that the treaty has to, it's the most sacred of rules. Someone who a wolf imprints on can't be harmed in any way. It's- oh, okay, but it's like they're not pissed enough to like think of a loophole. It's like, okay, yeah, the baby won't be harmed, but fuck the Cullens. Yeah, they could have still attacked the Cullens. Not yeah, the- and they and they like had a like rule is like if any of them bite a human, it, it's like treaties off. Yeah, which, and that's exactly what happens. Yeah, and it's like it's all Gucci by the end. Yeah, and they're just like, oh well, oh yay, new mom. It's just like, oh, god damn it, like it, it makes no sense. But just it's the worst. Re- it's the worst gender reveal party ever. But just well, only the second worst gender reveal party. Yeah, right. But getting the final thoughts here, like. <sighs> Okay, so like Deathly Hollows Part One, I remember some people going like, "I thought it was slow." I enjoyed Deathly Hollows Part I, One. I I legitimately like, love Deathly Hollows Part One. That is a movie that 
it, it is the only one that justifies splitting itself into two films because yeah. because the final book of Harry Potter it is so dense it's like a thousand pages long that there is no conceivable way that you can tell that entire story in in the kind of manner that it deserves in one even pushing three hour film it's just not feasible yeah and with this movie it 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 was clearly done because they went we can make more money if we split this in two because do i think you could make this shit like that like you could do a god i can't say even say this you could do one three-hour movie and have parts one and part two done you wouldn't need two separate movies you could do that in three and you know they're like well we like money so what else does summit have going on yeah because both of the both part one and two they're both pushing like uh, they're both at least like two hours a piece yeah and they do not fucking need to be at all and it's just there's like a solid hour that could be cut out of both and we get to the fucking point yeah it's one of those things i just went all right we don't need all this but whatever so I will simply say where also where the movie ends up, you, you, like your your eyes don't turn red until you start feeding on blood. And so the fact that Bella's eyes are red when she gets turned, I just went, all right, so you're not being consistent with anything. Cool, whatever. Um, I'm gonna give this oh god, I'm gonna give this a D for dumb. I think that's why because <laughs> like I wasn't that- because this didn't piss me off quite to the extent that new moon did like new mm. moon i remember going like i kind of want everyone everyone and everything to burn but but there's just it, this feels pointless like it's so much mm. it's so much happening and yet nothing happens like it's weirdly impressive so <laughs> you uh you know what uh no nah, d minus i'm i'm talking about <laughs> You're talking about yeah. You, you, you talk yourself into a D minus. Yeah, goddamn D, D D minus. Like it's not an F because uh, cinematography wise, there's some stuff I like, and I yeah. do. And there were yeah, there is some there is some solid cinematography in this film, which I will say, uh, for what they're given, I think this is this is bordering on Pattinson's best performance as Edward Cullen. Yeah. And Kristen no, Stewart actually that. is manages to be pretty solid, especially yeah. more building off of this in the next film. Yeah, because the next film is by far the most interesting Bella, which of course you know they took. Which of course because because uh, uh, you know she actually gets to participate in the action. Yeah, which, could... which is something that has been egregious about this entire franchise. It's like, yeah, Bella Swan. She's a worse character than the Sam Raimi MJ. Yeah, like in in Sam Raimi, MJ really is like the first version of the Bella Swan. worst. Yeah, but yeah, I, D minus. I'm gonna stop at D minus. <laughs> but uh, Nick, your final thoughts are great, man. Hey, just this is not a good film, but <laughs> just not. by the fucking virtue of how entertaining this film is, even on the most basic, just watch this as a bad film. I would be lying if I said I wasn't entertained by this and all of the just stupid decisions that happened in this film that I just cannot help but laugh at. But it's still nothing good happening. <laughs> A lot is happening in this film, but at the same time, almost none of it matters because of how this franchise ends. And for that, the most I can give it is a D minus. Okay, that, that, that's <clears throat> fair. Because... I will say part two is better than part one, but it's it's largely because of the big X Men fight and the fact that it turns into an, an X Men film like forty minutes in, and they just kind of <laughs> go, "We don't care." It so. start, yeah, it becomes an X Men film. It sets up a lot of cool stuff for a climax that ultimately doesn't matter. Yeah, which which we'll get to that when uh, we get to break down to part two, but. Uh, Nick, dude, thank you so much for your help, man. Tell the people where they can find you. Ooh, you can find me uh, on my personal Twitter and Instagram at Night and Day Nick. You can find the podcast I do, The Afternoon Tune, on Twitch. Uh, we stream uh, live 
every uh, Friday, Saturday, every 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, at least, and uh, twitch.tv slash afternoon tune. You can find the show on YouTube, the condensed video versions, or if you <clears throat> work in an office and you can have headphones on, but you don't have the bandwidth to play video, we are on Spotify. Boom. There you go. Um, and you anywhere can, you listen to podcasts. Yeah, yeah uh, you can listen to The Real Pineapple, uh, and you can follow yours truly on the Twitter at J Hunter Real Pineapple. That's R E E L Pineapple. Uh, you can find us wherever you listen to podcasts uh, Google, Amazon Music, uh, uh, Apple, uh, was it Apple Music now? That's right, Apple Music, Spotify, at The Real Pineapple. And trying to think where else you can find us on twitch as well at twitch.tv slash j hunter real pineapple and yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe uh nick thank you so much for your help man i appreciate you uh, thank again, you this this has been a pleasure again no idea when we'll do breaking down part two but we'll get that <laughs> done but uh everyone get your covid shot wear your mask please stay safe out there and uh, we will talk to you soon thanks again nick Pre- appreciate you thank you beautiful all right I will stop this recording.